I'm Pat Gunn, and this is a accent tag video, which is composed of a set of uh, words and questions that are designed to bring out the differences between different accents. Um, my accent is probably uh, a bit unusual in that I was born in Texas and spent most of the first six years of my life down there, but then my family moved up to the Cleveland area. Um, uh, in Ohio. And so my accent, uh, while originally Southern, um, after years of attempting to talk like a Northerner, I, uh, probably the phonemes that are part of my, my speech have changed around a bit, although I do use y'all uh, as a second person plural, and I, I have a, a few other um, words that are are, are probably more southern uh, than northern. Also, I watched a lot of British t uh, British television when I was young, and to a certain extent, I think the the parts of Dallas where I uh, did the initial growing up, they were um, they were areas that had a little bit more of a British feel to them than general American accent. But I'm not really certain about that. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, it, it's probably also worth noting before I get on to the accent tag um, words that uh, I, I do tend to speak a little bit differently. Um, my accent tends to slip a little bit towards uh, towards southern when I'm tired. Um, anyhow, let's let's get on uh, onto it. So these are the words that are part of the accent tag uh, standard list. Uh, the words are aunt, which is the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the relative, roof, which is the top part of a house, uh, route, which is a uh, the direction that you, uh, directions that you use in a path, wash, which is what you do to get uh, get yourself or something else clean, oil, which is what you uh, what you uh, put in a car or otherwise uses some type of a lubricant or cooking uh, component. Uh, theater, which is a place where you go to see opera and, uh, and music and things like that. Iron, which is the chemical element. Uh, uh, salmon, or, yeah, salmon, which is the fish, not a word I use very often because I'm a vegetarian. Um, uh, caramel, uh, and occasionally I'll pronounce it caramel. Uh, it's uh, the the candy. Fire, which is one of the four classical uh, elements. Uh, water, uh, which is the uh, H2O. Um, sure, which is uh, uh, when you're very certain of something. Uh, data which is the plural of datum. Uh, uh, ruin, when um, something's uh, gone off or lost the plot. Um, crayon, which is a colored wax that you use to draw things. Um, Norlands, which is a city in Louisiana. Uh, pecan, which is a nut. Uh, both, which is an indicator uh, towards two of something. Again, which is when you wish for something to repeat. Um, probably, which is um, when you think something is moderately likely. Uh, sp spitting image. Oh yeah, spitting image, which is when, when something uh, well, when something looks an awful lot like something else. Uh, Alabama, which is a state in the United States. Lawyer, uh, which is somebody who has the profession of working with law. Uh, coupon, which is something that you use to get a discount when you buy something. Mayonnaise, uh, or I often just say mayo. Uh, it's a condiment that you put on food. Um, syrup, or syrup? I think I say syrup. 
which is a particularly sweet other kind of, I don't know if the word condiment, I actually, well, it's rare that you, in any case, it's a sweet uh, liquid substance that you put on food that's derived from uh, tree sap normally, I think. Um, uh, pajamas, which are something that uh, kids wear when they go to bed. Uh, cot, which is uh, what happens when you have uh, have been chased and reached by somebody naturally, uh, which is um, in a way that's in accordance with nature. Um, aluminium, uh, which is a uh, chemical, uh, uh, it's a chemical element, and uh, envelope, which is something that you uh, put letters in. Uh, it's a con it's a small paper container into which you put letters. Uh, the questions: uh, What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Uh, that's rolling a house. What is the bug that if you touch it, it curls into a ball? That's a pill bug. Uh, what is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Uh, that's pop. Uh, what do you call gym shoes? Uh, tennis shoes. Although I mean maybe. Technically, that's a subset of of, of gym su gym shoes, but normally I I, I would um, uh, I think most people call uh, at least in the area where I uh, I was raised call them tennis shoes. Um, what do you call or what do you say to address a group of people, uh, y'all? Um, what do you call the kind of spider that has an oval shaped body and extremely long legs? I'm guessing that's a daddy long legs, although I don't know the name of many other types of spiders. Uh, what do you call your grandparents? Uh, on one side, uh, I call them grandma and grandpa. Uh, on the other side, um, they, to differentiate them from the grandparents on my mom's side, um, I called them uh, Mimi and Pete, but that, that's something that just my family did. So it's it's not a feature of my language, uh, or not not a feature of my broad language, so much as a personal uh, family idio uh, idiosyncrasy. Um, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A uh, shopping cart. Uh, what do you call it when rain falls while the sh uh, while the sun is shining? Um, I don't think there's a word for that. Uh, I mean, it tends to cause a rainbow, but I suspect that's not what the question is getting at, so I, I don't know. Uh, what is the thing you use to change the TV channel with? Um, uh, remote control, although I actually don't have one because I don't have a TV. Uh, in any case, yeah, those are the ten questions and the however many words that was that are part of an accent tag uh, video. So. That's all. Oh, where's the stop? There's the stop button.